So, I've been playing on my own, trying to build my main team in Genshin, which is uh, Kuching, Shinyan, Diana, and Venti. Trying to uh, play on my own, trying to build them to suit my playstyle. I'm doing some research into it here and there, but most advice from people who are telling me how to build them are whales, so... But, for the most part, I think I'm starting to find some builds that work for me, at least. Uh, so on Kuching, I've got Lion's Roar, which is, uh, heard this was a really good weapon, regardless of if you're a whale or free to play, so, uh, I'm building that up to 90. Uh, for Artifact Sight, it's Thundering Fury, uh, mainly because I use her LML skill constantly and just deal constant LML damage, so I, I just kind of figured this would be better for her, and, you know, in some respects, I, it is. I, I do really like it. Uh, no constellation. Uh, anyway, Shinyan. Shinyan's a bit tricky because, uh, like, I I'm trying to find a good weapon for her and trying to find a good artifact set for her, and I don't know yet. I got Star Tome Star Silver right now, and I heard this was a good weapon, but I don't know. Before I had White Blind, which currently is on Duluth, but nah, I I'm trying to work with Star Tome Star Silver, which, you know, for what it is, it's it's not a bad weapon. For a uh, team I got, it's not a bad weapon. I just need to get it up to 90 and, or get it up to 80 at the very least, and then I should be good. But I, I'm still working on getting the prototype Claymore. Um, I've got a friend who at the very least can help me out with that. But for right now, uh, Star Tome Star Silver, it's not that bad of a weapon. But uh, moving on to artifacts. Um, so before I had the Crimson Witch of Flames. The artifact set, which uh, basically did, which basically maximized her damage for elemental reactions and whatnot. The problem with that is that her skill set, her elemental skill set, is similar to Xing Chou, where she, where all I have to do is press R two, and boom, you just got a uh, shield up. And uh, that's that's not exactly. I, I don't think. Shinya benefits from Crimson Witch of Flames too much, so I did a few runs in some domains and I decided to get Retracting Belide, which increases her shield strength set, and because I got the 4 piece set, it increases her normal and charge attack damage by 40%, so I'm using her a lot more instead of just popping her out now, and yeah, she's actually pretty good. I mean, she could be better, but you know, it's, it's, uh, she's good. I also got this, uh, Wondrous Trope for HP. But yeah, pretty much uh, the artifact sets I got on her are, they're actually not that bad. Almost all of them are maxed out too, so yeah, it's uh, kind of like the set. I might find a different one, but for right now I like it. And I almost got her maxed out too. Um, I'm really hoping to get her to 90 real soon. <laughs> but uh, anyway, moving on to Diona. Uh, okay, so of course I, I chose Maiden, Bel Maiden Beloved. I heard this was a really good set for a character like her, so I chose it. I still need to max it out, but for right now, yeah, it's good. Sacrificial Bow, uh, yeah, the sacrificial weapons are alright, and I didn't really know what would be the best weapon to give her, but I just went with the Sacrificial Bow because it didn't cut down time on her shield. Anyway, for Venti, uh, I went with Amos Bow. I originally had Skyward Harp, but I found that Amos's Bow actually, I think, actually worked better with I was using him, which I'm using his normal attack as opposed to just constantly popping his elemental skill and burst. So, you know, it's I think it works better for him, honestly. Uh, but Skyward Harp, it, it was fun, but I don't think it was, you know, I don't think it was exactly for him necessarily. I don't know. Uh, for Artifact Sec, I used to have a full piece set of Wanderer's Trope. Uh, I kept the... I kept the animal damage bonus and another one, but pretty much it's working with Elmel Mastery. But yeah, I, I, I kept it because it was basically giving me a really good animal damage bonus, but I made a greatest miscalculation because uh, it was increases charge attack damage. I misread it as increasing overall attack damage. Uh, I added the, after doing a bit of domain run, I added the Resident Veneer, which gives animal damage bonus. I'm hoping to find a better artifact set to sort of replace the Wondrous Trope build I got on him. Uh, something to replace this as well. I'll look into it and hopefully find something that uh, can benefit him. But uh, for right now, yeah, this is 
That's what I got. I'm could be better, but uh, yeah, I think that's that's what I got for right now. That's all the artifacts and weapons I have in my characters. Uh, hopefully, like soon, I can be able to find a suitable replacement for some of these artifacts as someone who's free to play. Uh, I'll, I'll do some digging and looking into it. Uh, for right now, my team is uh, no, it's not the it's not the best, but you know, it's, I'm doing fine. So uh, yeah, yeah. 